Hey, welcome back nerds. My name is Mike and in today's video we are going to talk about one of my favorite tools, probably also one of the least known tools, which is VMware Fusion. We're going to talk about what it is and why it's something that you should definitely be taking a look at, especially if you own a Mac computer. So without further ado, let's get into it. All right, so what is this VMware Fusion that you're talking about, Mike? Well, let me just start by explaining what it is. Actually, I guess that was that's what we were gonna do anyway. Okay, so VMware Fusion is a software hypervisor written by VMware, big surprise, and it allows you to take your existing laptop or desktop or iMac or Mac mini or whatever you have, and it's running on Mac operating system today. You can, with VMware Fusion, after you install it, it allows you to run a different operating system on that laptop. And actually, you can even install multiple operating systems on the same laptop through VMware Fusion. Now, the reason you might want to do this just depends on you. You might be a developer wanting to test something. You might be wanting to learn and play in the lab and learn some new VMware technologies. So maybe you're doing nested ESXi. You might want to just try out the new version of Windows and you just like Windows more and maybe you want to keep using it with your Mac. Those are all perfectly valid reasons. That said, let me show you my laptop and I actually have Fusion installed. So here we are inside of my Mac. Now, if I go over to the VMware Fusion button right here and I launch it, I actually am prompted with my first virtual machine that I created in Fusion, which is this Windows 10 system right here. So if I actually hit this play button, it's actually going to resume it. It was previously paused, which happens when I shut down the laptop. So I can see this is Windows, right? So I have Microsoft Edge, probably the worst browser to, uh, to history, but it's there. Um, I also can do things with this virtual machine. I can change settings and that sort of thing. Um, that's all not very interesting for this video, but what is, if I go over to Window right here and I go down to Virtual Machine Library, so this prompts me with this library view, which is where Fusion will let me create additional virtual machines. So all I need to do if I wanna create more is I could click this button, hit new, and I can start creating another virtual machine. So I could have a Windows 10 one, Windows 11, a couple of Linux ones, that's perfectly fine. And those will share the resources, RAM, <laughs> CPU, uh, storage, network, all of that with my actual host system, in this case, my Mac laptop. That said, the last thing I wanna mention before we close out this video, now that we understand what Fusion is, is the licensing. So I pulled up this page here. Now there's two versions of Fusion licensing. There is one called VMware Fusion Player, and then there's also Fusion Pro. And you can see the prices here. Fusion Pro is 199 and Fusion Player is 149. And you can see all of the comparison between the two. But I wanna tell you something right now. I'm about to save you $149. So yes, you can buy player here, but if you go to this other tab I have and you just Google VMware Fusion player right here for personal use, look at this. Fum Fusion player offers a personal use license available for free, free, available for free with a valid MyVMware account. And you can create a MyVMware account for free right there by clicking create an account. So if you want the player version, you just wanna play around with it, no pun intended at all, well, maybe a little. If that's what you wanna do, you can actually go download it right from this page and you're good to go. And I will drop a link to all of the stuff we're talking about in the description, so make sure you check out that. Why would you want player over pro? What are the differences? Well, here we see the comparison between the two. Honestly, if you look at the differences, right, we can't do encrypted VMs uh, with player, which is something that you wouldn't really care about if you're playing around in your home lab or something like that. Um, we also lack some ability to do virtual network customization with player. This one has actually bit me before, and this is why I recommend if you work in IT, you should absolutely be on pro. It'll just save you headaches of having limitations around the free version. But the other things, honestly, the ability to connect to ESXi, um, to create link clones, full clones, all of that, I don't really think is a big deal. So if you just really need to just run a very simple VM in your lab or just on your laptop to play around with, go download the free version of Player. If you are a professional and you wanna do some labs and studying and that kind of thing, I would recommend going with the Pro link, which I put in the description below. Now, I know someone out there is looking at me and going, Mike, it says buy Player $149. What are you talking about? It's free. 
This is a commercial license. So if you are wanting to use VMware Player for commercial use, so you want to develop some software on it that you're going to sell or you're going to do work on it for your day job, something like that, then technically you do need to pay this $149 license. And honestly, if you're going to do that, you might as well just pay the $199 and get the pro. So either way, that said, I hope you found this video really, really helpful. I encourage you to check out Fusion. I've been using it for years and still continue to use it all the time. Even though I have a VMware lab that is pretty large, I love it because I can just spin up things really quick, do what I need to do, and then just kill the VM when I'm done. So again, that said, I hope this was helpful. Stay safe and healthy, and most importantly, stay nerdy.